Hi, welcome to another tutorial. Uh, received this GLCD display yesterday. Now this is meant to be showing, well that was meant to be a plane. This is meant to be showing a clock face and you'll see the screen split into two. There's my seconds, should be over here. There's the hours, should be over there. The screens are reversed. Uh, so this is the um, conventional Samsung. Uh, is it KSO 108 or whatever it is? Uh, Windstar. This uh, this has actually got a touchscreen. Comes from Microelectronica. Uh, this one I got from eBay. Uh, Gadget Infinite. Very helpful. But uh, ten pounds seventy eight. So about sixteen dollars sixty four cents. Um, quick delivery. Uh, as I say, only a tenner. But twenty pin. Same as this Windstar. Let's see if I zoom out. You might better see it. This is a conventional Samsung board, 20 pin, and this is 20 pin, so I stuck a connector on it, put it on there, and I've got this. You see what's all that, so that plane split in half again, so I actually established the chip select uh, pins were back to front, chip select 1, chip, chip select 2. That's, this demonstrates chip select 1 is for one side of the screen and the, the other chips for the other side of the screen, so I figured or maybe they're reversed and they work. So if I just this is a it's um a new tech. You see my adapter wiring I've got on there. Oh drop my screwdriver. It's a new tech uh, NB one two six uh sorry one two eight six four A so it's hundred and twenty eight by sixty four um, they quote a KS0108i, but whether it's different to the normal non-i versions, I'm not sure. Let's see if I can get you focused in there. Um, right, I'll show you the wiring. Here's my chip select. Let's get up the right way. My chip select wiring on the conventional Samsung or this uh, Windstar. Chip selects of pin one and two on this one. They're something like 16 and 17 here. Yeah, so what I've done, I've reversed them, put them back to how what I thought it was, or as as the data sheet shows, and you see the screen's in two halves. Right, let me um, show. So I do. Uh, yeah, I recommend these people. Get your infinite, as I say, on eBay. Quick delivery. £10.78. They couldn't help me with the uh, data sheet. Uh, if I show you NewTek, this is their data sheet. So NewTek NV12864A. Well, I'm already scrolled down the bottom. Well, what I've done, I've copied this, pasted it onto another page. So I think you saw that. Right, that's the display NB12864A new tick. Right, so it's all still 20 pin, same as the uh, Windstar. Power slide ground, that sort of stuff, contrast. Um, data select is there, that's the data instruction, that's uh, data select. Uh, this chip select 1 and chip select 2, pin 15 and 16. I found if I reversed it, uh, it was okay. So I'm assuming this data sheet is wrong because the Windstar, if you wire it up correctly using chip, set, chip select one and two, uh, and then the code on like from Microelectronica, this this blue one works perfectly. So what I've done, right? That's the Windstar uh, uh, wiring, standard 20 pin. And this is the, what's it called, NewTek. The NewTek, that was off their data sheet. And so, yeah, that's the RS, register select. And this chip select, one and two, 15, 16, wrong. That should be chip select two, chip select one. So you copy that out. I'll get my soldering irons, these wires on this display. Right, I'll swap the wires, turn it back on.
Right, hopefully you can get that. So I don't know if there's any other variations. So 20 pin, GLCD, yeah, with the chip select. Chip select one, chip select two. All compatible with certainly a micro electronicus. Uh, micro C Pro for pick. And we've got a sensible display. I think there's a bit missing that will, that will refresh in a minute. There we go. Um, I don't know, maybe you'll find this video helpful, maybe not. So, yeah, new tech display and uh, Windstar GLCD. Um, thank you very much.